We are here with a brand new save file. The save file is called Fluralia and it is version 5.0. I have never played through this save file so I am very very curious to see what it all looks like. If you have never downloaded a save file for your game before, I actually did a whole video on how to import a save file into your game. So if you don't know how to do that, I will actually link my video down below and it will give you a complete guide from beginning to end on how to import save files into your own game. But if you don't really know what a custom save file is, pretty much it is where a creator will make a save file from scratch. It's their own builds, their own sims, their own stories, and then they save it and give it out to other people for them to play. So it's brand new buildings, brand new characters, and it's just so creative. And it is a giant undertaking to take. We're talking hundreds of hours work in these save files. But this is the one I have for today. I actually have an entire playlist if you want to go through and see all the other save files I've reviewed. But for today, we will be looking at this save file. So this save file does not require any CC of any kind. The background that you are seeing here is my own personal default map, but you do not need any form of CC to play this save file. This is completely CC free, but this is Willow Creek and look how beautiful it is. I love how all of the buildings match. You can tell that they were all made by the exact same creator. And I really like to see that uniformity right there. Every single time I review a save file, there's a few houses that I always have to go in to see what happened. The first house I always go into in every single save file review that I do is the goth household. I love the goths. So I always like to see what other people have done with them if they are present in that save file. So we're gonna go and we're gonna look at the goths. So we have adjust loaded into the household and it is almost noon and every single sim is late for something. That's not good. But here is the house. Here is an overview. Oh my gosh, they have a cat. Master Snot. Oh my gosh, that's funny. So in this household, they, oh, let it all out. Does Alexander like complaints? Okay, we will hit yes for that. But this is the house. We have the bathroom right here. We have the living room here. Let me turn on all the lights here so we can see the house better. Here is the kitchen. And we have another little sitting room right here. A library over here. This is a really nice house. This is upstairs. And as you can see, it really does kind of keep the vibe of the original house. It's just updated. All the beds have already had Sims assigned to them, which is nice. This is Cassandra's room here. And it really does look like a room she would have. This is Mortimer and Bella Goth's room, complete with their own bathroom here. And they did keep Alexander's room up on the third floor, complete with a piano room right here. And look at Alex's room. It looks so much better than his old room. Yeah, this house looks absolutely amazing. It's just a nice updated version of what it was before. I really like this. And of course, here are the goths themselves. Mortimer looks about the same. Here is Cassandra, who is looking lovely. And here we have the infamous Bella Goth, who has been slightly updated and looks even more lovely than she did before. And of course, Alexander is here. But yes, this is the goth household and it just looks stunning. The next house I usually like to visit and see what all it looks like is the pancakes house. It looks like in this version they have Iggy pancakes which I am so happy to see that. And this is the pancake house. Just like with the goth house you can see that a lot of the color tones and the aesthetic of the house was cat 
which I really do appreciate. We have the study here. The living room is here and it does have the yellow color tone all throughout the house just like it did in the original house. There is Bob right here but he's not wearing pants for some reason and I'm not sure why because this is a CC free save and he's wearing a hat and glasses. I don't think he's supposed to be wearing any of that. Yeah that is not what he's supposed to be wearing that outfit is actually not even in his assigned outfit. So we're going to change him. This is some kind of random outfit that he was put in for some reason. And here is the kitchen, which does honor the original kitchen as well. Oh, there is Eliza Pancakes with her snooty walk. I love it. And she looks very glamorous. Look at her. She looks really good. And we have Iggy, who's going up the stairs. Stairs. We have Iggy's room right here and the master bedroom right here complete with their bathroom. Oh and they even have these little chairs outside on their balcony and outside they have an area for planting and even the little toddler pool. This is very nice. So I am checking the clubs and there is actually a bunch of already pre-made clubs here. So we have best friends forever party. This is the exclusive BFF club want to join try becoming our bff first fireflies what do we do play all day every day no homework no school unless our parents make us that is cute so there's all kinds of little groups here that you can join and if you go to the calendar there are pre-made holidays here as well so we have easter right here love day is of course here and we do have a summer break i love to see a summer break added because I usually put this in my own save. That way kids will be out of school for the whole summer and I just like to give my sims a break. So I'm very, very happy to see that here. The Sim World Cup holiday. Yes, there's all kinds of holidays here, but not too much to where it is overwhelming. So I'm really happy to see this. So for the rest of Willow Creek, we see different houses that you can rent, such as this one. And there are brand new families here as well. There's a restaurant. The park is right here and it looks massively updated. It looks so much better than what was there. We have this giant wedding venue right here that looks gorgeous. The lounge, the gym, and the Willow Creek Archive. They are all here. The BFF household is also here and has been updated. A lot of time and love went into this save and it really shows. Here is Oasis Springs, but we are not going to be going into every single lot, every single house, because it would just take too long this is a giant save. So we're just going to kind of look over everything and go into whatever kind of catches our eye. So we have a pool area over here and I actually do kind of want to see that. So let's go look at it. Oh, this is very pretty. This is the pool area that you can come to and it really does fit with Oasis Springs very much. All the details that you would expect are here and not only that it's just gorgeous and of course it uses brand new items from other packs so we do have this sliding pool area right here and we do have the little toddler area here which is a really nice touch a lot of thought went into the save and it really does show so back on the main map we have a restaurant right here we do have the calientes here and they are updated they are looking fabulous they have the entire park updated here and of course we have the land grabs over here the roomies are all also still here. Johnny Zest is also here and he has been moved to a tiny home. And there are so many families. Every single lot has a house or a family in the house and it is very nice. There's a diner here. There is a spa, a movie theater, and a bowling area. This looks like it would be a really fun save 
to play through. And here is Newcrest. I always love to check Newcrest in these saves because this is a completely empty world, so I always like to see what the creators do with it. They built a Newcrest community park right here. I am actually want to look at that. Here is the park, and it is looking really nice. We have a whole planting area right here. We got all of the kids' toys and playground equipment here. There's even a nice fountain with the shrubs curving all around it. How pretty is that? That's so creative. And over here, we have a whole pond area that's going to be full of ducks and fish all throughout. So you could actually go fishing here if you want it. This looks absolutely lovely. And they even have benches all around the water. That is so nice. Back on Newcrest, we have the Newcrest Center, which is a cafe. And there are also tons of homes with tons of families. There is some open houses here, so you could just move your sim right in. We have a spring festival park here. Ooh, I gotta check that. So here is the spring festival, all decorated in spring colors. I love this idea. So you can have your sim families come here each spring to come celebrate the festivities. I love that. And of course, there are big trees lining it everywhere. And there is a whole playground area here. And over here, there's a whole puppet area full of chairs and pillows to sit so you can come see the puppet show. And the drawing area is here. I love this so much. This looks lovely. And it's very creative. I never thought about making my own spring festival. We also have another pool area over here a spa area, and even a vet clinic, which is very important. Magnolia Promenade has also been updated. We have a vet clinic, a restaurant called the Mamma Mia Pizza Place. How cute. There is a bakery owned by a sim, and there is an entire retail lot built right here, and you can see it from the outside. It looks so pretty. It looks like there are multiple shops all throughout this. Here is a window Windenburg and oh my gosh, Windenburg is like one of the biggest maps in the game. So it takes a lot of hours to be building this one up. And it looks like that's exactly what they did. Everything here has been updated. Look at this pool area right here and how cool that looks. Certainly better than the one that was there before. The Hidden Pictures Park. I'm not sure what that is. The Von Hunt Estate has been updated. The Ancient Runes are here. Oh my gosh, look at this house. It's a mansion now. That's amazing. But there's nightclubs, house rentals, cafes, parks, gyms. There's a lot on this map. And of course, all of the families you know and love are also here and have been updated. Here is San Maishuno. And we have McDonald's. We have a McDonald's here. Hold on. I gotta check that out. All right. Here is this saves a version of a McDonald's. Oh my gosh. They even have pictures of the food right here that they serve. How creative. And if you go right here, you can see the drive through with all of the vehicles. And they're all going all the way around to right here where they order. How awesome is that? This is so creative. They even have signs right here saying McDonald's. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this so much. This would be so much fun to play in. This save is just so creative. One of the things I love about these type of saves is you can go and you can create your own sim and then just plop them into this very lively world full of all these other sims with their own stories, their own groups, and all of these community lots. And you could just go play and it will feel like a brand new game. Seeing builds like this and this type of creativity really makes me want to just sit down and play in this save for the rest of the day. Back on the map, we have a nightclub. The art gallery is over here. There's also rentals. The meadows is over here and looks completely updated. Everything here just looks so well done. We have Forgotten Hollow here. And here is 
Vlad, who has some people living with him. That's interesting. I wonder what the story is for that. And there is a lounge right here. And here we have made it to Brittleton Bay. I love how these houses all look. They really do look uniformed. We have the Pepperstone Park. We have a retail shop here called Izzy's Ice Cream. How cute is that? We have the lounge. The Salty Paws Saloon has been completely updated. And of course, all of the houses are here too. And we have the Spooky Fall Festival Park. I have to look at that. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. I look forward to it every single year. So I had to come to this park to look at it. And here it is. There are pumpkins everywhere and spooky day things everywhere. There is a skating ring over here. There's a little ghost hidden throughout the bushes. And of course, we have games right here and a whole kid area here complete with tombstones. I love this so much. And a little park area here. Oh, complete with the candy here. So it looks like they have a festival for each season spread throughout the whole game. How creative is that? Oh my gosh, I love that. So each season I can have my Sims go to a completely different festival. It's already decorated, so they just have to go there and enjoy. My favorite part of this festival area is definitely the pumpkin patch, complete with the scarecrow. Oh my gosh, I love this. Here is Adele Soul Valley and the houses have been updated. Oh my gosh, they gave Judith Ward a little pet dog and it's wearing a pink outfit. <laughs> oh, I love that. I have to check. The dog's name is Star. You know what? I, I gotta do it. I gotta see what her house looks like. Oh my, here is the house. It looks extremely grand and the whole house is decorated with a pink tones. Wow. Okay, let's go through this. So there is a bar area here right off the main entry, which makes sense for Judith Ward. Here is her fabulous kitchen. It is quite massive. Of course, she would have a whole eat-in area with the nicest chairs in the game. The living room is here with the pink couches. And of course, her room would be in completely full pink. I love it. And over here we have her vault. So you can put all of her money in the vault. And she currently has 100,000 simoleons. This is such a gorgeous house. And it really does fit the Judith Ward character a lot. And I love her pool area. Look how pretty this is. Oh, I love it. So Strangerville was also updated, but I'm not going to go into this map too much because Strangerville is a storyline game pack. So I don't want to look into this too much and spoil it for somebody. Here is a Sulani and it is looking lovely. There's a whole house here to rent on one of the biggest lots on this map. That's crazy. That looks so pretty. And it looks like you're going to be surrounded by water everywhere here. I want to take a look at that. Sulani is actually one of my favorite maps. I know a lot of people don't play in this one too much, but I love the ocean. So I do find myself playing on this map quite often. Look at it. The whole bedroom is surrounded by the water. It's like an inside outside side house. There's a whole like lounge area here with a bar. The computer room is here. Look how lovely this kitchen is. And of course the whole house is surrounded by water. I love it. This is just beautiful. You guys don't need to be sleeping on Solani so much now. It's a beautiful map to go to. There is a spa here, a restaurant, and of course, a few beaches. Glimmerbrook has also been updated. And oh my gosh, look at the Charm Family House. And they are living in a haunted 
house. Oh, I love that. But we are going to end the video here. There are more updates, but you will just have to explore them for yourself. I will be leaving the link down below to go download the save file for your own use. And I really hope you enjoy it. It looks like so much work was put into the save. If you have any other save file recommendations, drop them down below because I love save files. I love playing in them and I'd be more than happy to go check it out and review some of them. But if you liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe down below. On this channel, we cover news, we do LPs, we do save file reviews, mod reviews, CC hauls, everything and anything you can think of. So make sure you hit the subscribe button to not miss out. But I hope all of you have a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.